Ah, much better. Move some of the stuff out of the way anyway. I'm gonna walk all over. So all three of these, I've gotten loose in the one way in the back. I'm having a hard time just reaching to it and I haven't even pulled the boot off. A spark plug boot. Oot in the boot. It's pretty much the same story over here. I've gotten all three of them loose. Except for that one way in the back. Way back there. There's like minimal room back there. That's, that's where, you know, cause I got fat hands and, and arms. I've started looking at like, uh, do I take this inner fender well off? That's pretty involved. Just to get at it. I guess I could take a hole saw and start cutting holes in it. <laughs> Try and figure out where that would line up. Always trying to be careful that I don't cut into a electrical line or whatever. <clears throat> on this vehicle, the mouses did not nibble on any of the wiring, but on the Chrysler, they just went to town on that car. It, it is definitely going to need an entire wire loom if it's ever to run again. And the sun is messing with the the video recording. Look at that, the light. That's wild. Because it's affecting the the shutter or whatever. I know. But why do people watch YouTube videos anyway? Right? Either to be educated and informed or be entertained. Well, this one's primarily entertainment. Sit back, relax, and laugh and enjoy at the poverty as that other channel, Bert from Scrap Farm, claims that I'm a poser. <laughs> oh, I've seen many times on YouTube Anytime you see red RTV sealant, that you know there's some kind of hacking going on. And <clears throat> that's the way it was when I bought it, actually. That's the first thing I looked at. This is a Ford 460 engine. Often referred to as a Lincoln Continental engine. And uh, I don't I don't care what kind of vehicle they're in. They're, there's no room. Because the, the engine is so big. It's almost the size of the, the old Cadillac engine. The old Cadillac Eldorado had a 501 cubic inch so this is like, what, 41 cubic inches smaller? It's a gas engine. I, I don't have any diesels. I don't have any experience working on diesels. King, it doesn't look like you have experience working on gas engines. <laughs> yeah, very little. I am not a performance mechanic. So I'm gonna have to find some hired help to get back there because I want to take the spark plugs off according to Scotty Kilmer videos for motors that haven't been started in a while 
he says to remove the spark plugs and uh, spray fogger oil in there and then try and hand crank the engine first to get it to start moving around and then uh, put a good battery in there and crank the motor with no plugs in just to get it to start moving around a little bit and put the spark plugs back in drain the gas tank put fresh fuel in and uh, fire it up keep your fingers crossed <laughs> Because I've seen, like, uh, I checked out his videos, like, you know, suggestions for, uh, you know, uh, engines that haven't been running in a while. You know, you go to the video 